and welcome. I'm Katherine Sullivan, CEO and founder of Marketing Solved. And I just want to say thank you so much for spending a couple minutes with me today. I'm going to show you how to set up a shop on your Facebook page. Now, this is very, very cool. It's a recently rolled out feature. And what it does is it allows your customers, your future customers, to make purchases from your company on Facebook, directly on Facebook. And this is really, really cool because there's a couple of reasons. One, obviously, is because Facebook is where a lot of people are spending their time. And so if you're in business and you're struggling to get traffic to your website, well, Facebook has billions of people on their website. They have tons and tons of traffic. So you could essentially set up a shop directly on Facebook to start taking advantage of the traffic that Facebook already has. So, so, so cool. Um, another thing is there's some really cool ways the way they set it up to really help you do business on the platform. And I will walk you through setting this up and we'll go over some of the different options so you can see all of the different benefits that come with this. Now, before I dive in, I just want to let you know that this feature is rolling out. So there's a possibility that your Facebook page doesn't have it yet. And if you don't, that's okay. Just hang in there and it will be available to everyone soon. It's just one of those things that comes out slowly. Um, so before I dive in, let's take a peek at a shop setup. And I wanted to show you a great page. It's Three Bird Nest. And they are actually um, really, really good at their marketing. They're a clothing brand. They sell clothing and different accessories and things like that. And you can see that their page is set up for you to make purchases. The first thing you see is Shop Now. And the second thing you see here is uh, featured for you. So they've got some featured stuff up here, some different featured posts and videos. But before you even get to the content, before you even see what they've posted on their page, they have the shop. OK, so this is the shop section right here. So the reason this is so beneficial is because let's say someone is checking you out for the first time. They're looking at your Facebook page, which we know a lot of people are doing before they make a purchase from you. And before they can even see the content that you've got on your page, they can see what's in your Facebook shop. So very cool. Facebook set this up to make it prominent on your page to encourage more sales for you. And I think that's really, really awesome. So let's look at what the shop looks like and then we'll set it up. So you can see here, you can add in some different images of your product. Again, you can do this for products or services. I sell online courses and workshops. And so there's different ways that you can set this up. Um, you can look directly here. You can click on additional items here. They all pull up in a new window. So if you pull up multiple different products, I'll show you what happens. Um, you'll close them out. And it'll go through all of the ones that you've opened. So it, again, it just reinforces to people. Um, it gives them the opportunity again to buy your product. You can also scroll through here. So if you click see all, what happens is a shop tab page actually pulls up. And you can do a search for products and you can just kind of go through here. So they've got different categories. They've got tops and tunics, dresses and layers, bottoms and skirts. So you can navigate through here and see all the different products that they have. It is so, so cool. So making checkout really easy. Again, there's a couple of different ways you can set this up. You can do purchases direct on Facebook or you can direct them to your website where they can complete the checkout process. Uh, but you can see here, all you do is you would click add to cart and then it'll double check the information that they have. Now, remember, this is Facebook's information. Facebook has the information on you. They've got whatever shipping information you added when you set up your account. Um, they've got your contact information, whatever you're using, and then they've got your payment info. Now, it's possible that if you've never made a purchase on Facebook before. They don't have any of your billing information. So at that point, you would want to go in and edit it or add it. Uh, but I do Facebook ads 
a lot. So they've already got some payment information for me. So from here, all I would do is hit place order and then my order would be placed. I literally could buy three bird nest products directly on Facebook. I never even had to click off of Facebook. How stinking cool is that? So now let's look at how you can set this up for your business. That's what you're here for. So to get you started, I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna go back to our Facebook page here. You've got to make sure that the setting is enabled. And to do that, you'll go to your page, go ahead and make sure you're logged in. You hit settings, and then you're gonna come down over here to edit page. Now, when you click edit page, there's some really cool stuff that you can do, but I want you to ignore everything and just scroll down here and look at these tabs, okay? Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna see all these different tabs, and if you have the shop option available on your page, you'll see a shop tab. And then you can go ahead and click on the settings and make sure that you've got it on. So you have the ability to turn this on or turn this off as you please. So in order to turn this function on, you're going to go ahead and enable it and make sure that it's got this on section. Then what's going to happen is you're going to get a URL. So you'll have a specific URL that you can be sharing on Facebook right? You can share it anywhere, but if you share it on Facebook, again, it keeps traffic on Facebook. Facebook loves that. So you'll get a direct URL as well for your shop. So once you've got it to on, you'll go ahead and hit save. And then what's going to happen is when you go back to your page on this left-hand side here, you'll see now that you've got the shop enabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to now set the shop up and add some products. So when you click on shop, it's going to say set up your shop section. So to add this, make sure that you go ahead and agree to our merchant terms and policies before you agree to the terms. Please make sure you look at them because sometimes people get set up and they're going so fast and they don't want to see what the rules are, but I highly recommend you go over the rules. Make sure your products are allowed to be sold on Facebook. They do have some specific things that they won't let you do, um, so make sure that you look. So we're going to go ahead and click OK here, and then we're going to hit Continue. Now, this is where you get to decide. Do you want people to be able to check out directly on Facebook? Like we just saw with Three Bird Nest, you can make a purchase direct from Facebook. Well, I don't actually have the capabilities to process a check out on Facebook because I do digital courses. So I need people to make the purchase on my website because then they'll get a user login and that way they can access their content in our members area. So again, depending on what you want to do, if you're a product based business, let's say you sell candles or maybe you sell journals or planners or whatever it might be, you might be able to process this the same way you do if you use Etsy or Shopify, right? The order comes in and then you're manually processing the shipping and the product. I don't have that capabilities because I'm an online business. So I'm gonna go ahead and select checkout on another website and that's gonna send that traffic to my website where they can then complete their purchase. So I'll go ahead and hit continue. Setting up your shop. What kind of currency do you want? This is going to be what you decide, obviously, um, based on where you're selling. Now, I know there's some conversion issues when you're doing different purchases. So pick whichever currency is going to be most relevant to you and then hit save. Okay, so now we've got a couple of different things here. So we can describe what Marketing Solved sells. So I'll go ahead and put just a quick description in here. this and there we go save that okay so let's see here's the direct link again improve your shop pretty cool you can even go in and delete it if you wanted to so now we're gonna add products 
So you just click on this and now here's something really cool. You can do a photo or you can do a video. So it would be really, really cool if you, again, like I said, if you do journals or planners, for example, and you had a really nice video, like a commercial, you could essentially share that commercial with people and that would help them want to buy your product. You could do the same thing with online courses. Just be creative, guys. So I'm going to hit add photo because at this moment I don't have any really cool videos. <laughs> but um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a picture. So it just says select your, your image. So I'm select the file and I want this one. I'm going to add in the Facebook sales system. You can add multiple photos if you wanted to as well. So if you have maybe one, you've got a snapshot of what's on the inside of the course. Maybe if you're doing products, you can have some different images of the products, the front, the back, the side, whatever you want. And then you just go ahead and fill out the prompts, okay? So the price on the Facebook sales system, we've got $49. And this product is not on sale, but let's take a peek. Okay, that's cool. So you could run a sale if you wanted to do an offer on a product. That's very cool. Um, I'm going to toggle that off. Then add some details. I'll just grab this quick little, see how much I've got. Might be too long, so I might have to edit it. Um, and then what's the checkout URL? Okay, so for me, what I do is each product that we have has a purchase page. So this is the registration page, right? This is register right here. And I need them to make their purchase here. So that's the URL that I am going to use. So if you've got Shopify, if you're using Samcart, whatever it is, you want to send them where they can check out. I would not send them to a sales page. If they're already looking at your product, I would not send them to a sales page because that's another click they have to take in order to make the purchase. I would leave this up to you entirely and it might even be best to test it out, but definitely think about whether or not you want to send them directly to the checkout page or if you want to send them to a sales page where they can then look at everything that's included. So let's do feature this product, why not? And then share this product on your page. I'm not gonna do that at this moment because I wanna see what it looks like. We're setting this up together here. Um, so let's go ahead and hit save and see what we've got. All right, it's pretty cool. So all products and then we've got featured products, got it. So when we edited, uh, when we added this, we had said, let's make sure this one is a featured one. So for the moment, I'm going to actually turn that off because I want to add a couple more products in here. Let's see if we could do a refresh. Maybe it'll go away. Okay, cool. So there's our shop. Uh, I like this. This is really fun. So I'm going to add another product here. Let's add, let's see here. Uh, we love our 20K in 20 days training. So let's add that one. Okay, so we've got. 20K in 20 days. Price point is 59. Actually, it's 99, but it's on sale. So let's do it like this. Check out URL I just grabbed. I'm going to save that. And then let me go back and get this little description. Pop that in here. We're going to just hit save. Oops, add a photo. Sorry, guys. Let me add this photo real fast. Let me see which one I have. Can't tell which ones are which. They're so small. There we go. And boom. So this is super cool. I'm loving this. I think this is really, really going to be easy for business owners. Um, so let's add one more and then what I want to do is I want to share it to the page and just see what that looks like. So let's add one more product. Let me see what else I've got here. I've got, let's do the Canva Masterclass. Let me scroll down and grab that. And this is one of our $7 products. So I'm going to call this the Complete Canva Masterclass. $7. 
add in the description, grab our checkout URL. And let's hit share. Your product will be shared as soon as it's approved. Okay, cool. So I don't know what this is gonna look like uh, when they share it because this is brand spanking new. So I'll be curious to see what it looks like. Um, but if we give it a second, it's gonna load again. And then we can, let's see here, do a quick refresh, make sure it's there. Cool, so now we've got three different products. So let's see, we can share the different products on our pages, that's cool. So it's gonna share them like that. That could be something that you do and then run as an ad, right? So if you're thinking a little bit further, you could say all of our, you could do featured products that are all on sale, for example, and say our 20K in, nine, in 20 days was 99, now it's on sale, make sure you grab yours, or here's six products that we have that are on sale right now, something that incentivizes people to take a peek, um, and then you can go ahead and run an ad behind that. I'm loving this, you guys, loving, loving, loving this. So let's take a peek at the front page and see what it looks like now that it's on the page, see if, see if we got it up there. So we've got photos, upcoming events, posts, so I'm not seeing our shop. Oh, there it is. Okay. So ours is a little bit underneath our recent post. And I wonder why that is. Let me see. We're going to unpin this. Unpin. Where's unpin? There we go. Right at the top. All right. Let's see here. I bet you it has to do with our tabs. So let me take a quick second to look through here um, to figure out how to get it up to the top so that it is prominent on the page. And I know it has to do with moving these around. So I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna go back to edit page. And let me see, can I move these? I sure can. So let's see, I want these up here. And I bet you that does it. I wonder if I had to hit save. <laughs> oh, cool. So that pumps it all the way up to the top. So very, very cool. You can delete what you don't want to show on the front. Oh, I love, love, love this. So I'm going to go back to my settings, edit page. Hope I'm not moving too fast for you guys. But I'm going to turn this off because I'm not using events right now. I'm going to move my videos. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay, you can't turn off your videos, but you can move them. Very awesome. I love this, guys. I'm loving this. Okay, so let's go back and take a peek. Cool. So now let's look at it as, um, so see all. Okay, so it'll take us to the shop. I can click on this. I can say check out on website. Cool, people can ask questions and leave comments. They can even, oh, look at this. You can see how many people are viewing and clicking. Tons of great stuff. You can save it, you can share it, you can check it out. Let's make sure it goes to the right link. Oh boy, I love this guy. It's so very, very cool. All right, so now it is your turn. I want you to take a couple minutes on your Facebook business page and set up a shop, set up your products, your services for sale. And let me know how it goes. Do you think this is cool? Do you like this feature? Give me some feedback and I'm really looking forward to seeing how you take this and run with it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.